All right, y'all, we are back with another video. And before we start, please put prayers for Donald Trump in the comment section. We must protect President Trump at all times. I'm not going to hold y'all up. We definitely finna dive straight into this. Benny said we got a, we got a bombshell. New Trump shooting footage released proves assassin was allowed to shoot at President Trump and tried to take him out. Oh my God. And I've been saying this for the longest that the Secret Service seen Thomas Matthew Crooks and let him do that. Now we got even more evidence that just came out. So please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date with everything that's going on. I appreciate everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much for that. And uh, without further ado, y'all, let's dive straight into this. This is a bombshell breaking news. Let's go. What's up, guys? Boy, Benny. Elon Musk always says that gross negligence and incompetence is indistinguishable from malevolence, meaning if you have enough dumb people working at your company for you, with you, then eventually they're going to destroy your company. Yep. And it really doesn't matter their state of mind, their state of heart, their stupidity will destroy you. And so it really just doesn't matter. The end result is the same. Now, how stupid do you have to be to run a security event and not have any contact with your security. How, st how, how designed for failure must you be if you are the secret service and you are trying to protect Donald Trump and you have no connection with the SWAT teams that are there to protect Donald Trump? Clearly when there's a, then a, an active shooter, you're going to see man-made horrors beyond comprehension like President Trump taking a bullet to the head. Yeah. Like innocent men dying in the stands of a political rally. And that is precisely what happened. And we can see it all unfold with brand new video that has been released by somebody who had their, their phone confiscated by the FBI. Get a load of this to set all of this nightmare up. Trump counter snipers chilling text messages before assassination attempt reveal how gunman was one step ahead of the Secret Service and local law enforcement. This guy was flagged at two hours before the shooting saying that he was creeping around the building and that he was looking at the sniper positions and he was following after the police officers. Here, ladies and gentlemen, at 538, this is 45 minutes before he fired a shot. The Secret Service taking photos of him around the building that he would eventually fire from. Look at that. Call into command and have a uniform. Come check it out. The problem with all of this is that they weren't able to connect with Secret Service who was actually running security for the entire Trump event. This according to the actual sniper teams on the ground. The Washington Post, members of Trump's security detail say they were not made aware of that warning. Was this a failure of communication? I, I believe so in, in a lot of respects. Adding to the confusion, the SWAT team says they had no communication with the Secret Service until after the shooting. We were supposed to get a face-to-face -face briefing with the Secret Service snipers um, whenever they arrived and that never happened. So I think that that was probably a pivotal point where I started thinking things were wrong because that never happened. And we had no communication with the Secret Service. These are not yokels, all right? These are professional SWAT teams that are in the employ of very large and populated counties in America. This county in Butler is right outside of Allegheny and Pittsburgh. Mm. These are like millions of people live in and around these areas. These are big time operators who are saying the Secret Service did a full blackout on us. Yep. No comms. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are seeing videos that are popping up because the FBI is handing people their phones back. And you are not going to believe what this video details. This video from a individual named David Stewart of Butler, Pennsylvania was released today. He was standing right in front of the sniper's nest, as it were, on top of the AGR building. And he has a full video of the shooting. It is crystal clear. And you're going to be able to see what true chaos actually looks like and what the intended result of the Secret Service incompetent actually is. Get a load of this, man. I'm going to talk you through it because I've, I've just come back from Butler, Pennsylvania. Here we go. 
This is no trespassing. Oh, oh sorry. I didn't, we didn't see any signs. Okay. So here's what happens. A few minutes before the sniper fires, somebody comes through and starts clearing people away from the fence line. This guy's kicking everybody out. Hmm. He's raging. And there were people watching at the fence line, the Trump rally, and this man who does not look like law enforcement. Looks like maybe someone who's, who's this guy's ass- assisting is telling people they have to leave. Okay. However, people return to the area along the fence line. Now, why is this fence line open? We were just visiting this fence line. It is insane to me that 80 yards from President Trump, people were able to gather without any security protocol. So there was nobody checking these people. There was nobody saying that they have to go through any scanners or metal detectors. They were able to simply stand there at the fence line with full view of the stage. That's how foobar everything is here. Full Mm. view of the stage, these people could just stand right there along the fence line and stare directly at President Trump. Okay? It is wild. That right there shouldn't even been allowed to happen. I mean, they ain't getting scanned to make sure they ain't got no weapons on them, no guns or anything. They pretty much, they they failed Donald Trump. I'm telling you now, President Trump could have lost his life because of this. I mean, you know how popular President Trump is? A public figure he is, you know how popular he is for you to not to protect him. You can't just allow anybody to just be sitting around. Then, for one, you ain't checking them to make sure they got a gun on them or a weapon on them, knife, whatever the case may be. And I mean, this is just a sad situation. I, and I told y'all, I said, more evidence is going to eventually come out. We're going to get to the bottom of it. We're going to find out what happened. Like, uh, who else is in on it? But we do know Secret Service failed Donald Trump. We do know that. And the FBI director, Christopher Wray, trying to question, did Donald Trump actually get shot or not? Or did, was it just glass that hit his ear? That right there was just uncalled for. I mean, I wouldn't even trust the FBI taking anybody's phone in for where for they can just try to delete something. I wouldn't even trust that. And, and the reason I say that is because the, you got a director that's the leader of them Christopher Ray trying to, you know, make it seem like Donald Trump was never shot, trying to question it. I mean, that was just insane. But we're going to get to the bottom of it because I know more evidence is going to come out and I'm going to be the one to bring y'all this, uh, this information. Uh, we ju- Again, we just visited that fence and spoke with security experts. Uh, they couldn't explain to us why this was allowed to happen. So there you go. And there's President Trump's rally. You can see the, the red barns there behind the stage. And then some crazy things begin happening, ladies and gentlemen. Then things really go off the rails. Again, this uh, video is wild because the FBI confiscated this man's phone and footage and just returned his phone to him uh, after viewing this footage. So this is why we're getting this footage of the rally right now. Mm-hmm. But it is clear and it plays all the way through when the shooting began. So there you can see the rally. See how unsecure this all is? How you can just look straight directly at the stage and directly at the rally itself and the people in the rally. Look at this. Amazing. Now, in the timeline, Police have been told that there is a suspicious individual on the roof of the building. There's something going on in this building. And said I'm here with you fighting like hell to get a senator elected and to make sure. Oh my god. There's somebody in this building. 
But the thing I don't get about it, you can you can hear Donald Trump talking. So if the police is out there and they looking for a person that has a weapon that's trying to shoot their gun, why didn't they alert President Trump them and let him know to get him off stage until they find that shooter? Why didn't they do that? You can obviously see they looking for a shooter now. They looking for him. But yet they can they still hear President Trump speaking when they should have made the call to say, hey, get President Trump off stage because it's a potential threat out here that has a gun. They didn't do that. I, I mean, that right there just don't make any sense at all. And you can tell this footage right here pretty much let you know that they wanted Donald Trump gone. They wanted him out of here. They wanted him out of here because they would have got him off that stage. So they pretty much wanted done. That's why Donald Trump was in rage over this. Especially after he just saw this footage. Because while President Trump on Ray, uh, on stage, he don't know what's going on. But once, once he's seen this clip right here, oh man. Ain't nobody trying to get on the roof. So, this, these are the reports that now a lurker has climbed on top of the building here. Now, there should have been a sniper team on that water tower that could have easily engaged. There should have been an officer stationed up on the building. Yep. So, at this point... Thomas Crooks is climbing along the roof line, getting into position to take his shot. You can see that officers have surrounded the building, but none of the officers are actually engaging because presumably they don't have any communication with the Secret Service. Make yourself small, bro. I don't know what's going on. Wow. You can hear the gunshots. You can hear a turn fire here. It takes forever. This is absolutely insane. They knew somebody had a gun. Screaming from the rally. Yep. They they knew somebody had a gun, and did not try to get President Trump off stage. Get down, guys. Get down. That is just yeah, crazy. Just get down. Get behind this tree with me. Get, get behind this tree. Get behind this tree, guys. No, no, no. I'm just safe back here. Here, here, here. They fucking picked that dude off. Did they pick him off? Fuck yeah, I saw a big poof of hair go up in the air. Oh fuck yeah. The head. Fuck yeah. Big poof of hair. Holy shit, guys. What happened to the shot off? Then you can see and hear the Are iconic. You me? This is fucking crazy, dude. I can't believe dude, I got all. I can't believe I got all that on camera, dude. I was in the middle of it. Headshot. Kill confirmed. He said. said kill confirmed. He said kill, kill, kill confirmed. The thing is, nobody didn't try to get on top of the roof or anything. They just surrounding it. Absolutely failed President Trump. An absolute fail. People still allowed to just stand right along the fence line. Now you can see what looks more like tactical teams into the building.
He was on the roof. Yeah. yeah, you know, this is where somebody stationed on the water tower or a drone would have been really helpful. This is absolutely insane. The cops are too fat to fit through the gate there. Oh, that's what we were told. One seriously injured, I just heard on that cop's radio. All this could have been uh, prevented. If they'd have got President Trump off that stage while they was looking for this shooter. Absolutely insane. This guy was able to fire off seven to eight shots. That's just crazy. Just insane. Here, Kyle. Are you law enforcement? You are? You're not. <laughs> Sorry. Rather, yeah. yeah, yeah, sorry. Can I get your name? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I got you, bro. Okay. And then the video ends with this. Since I thought that Agent Smith was going to take my phone, I stopped recording and locked the screen. He only wanted a picture of my ID ran towards, uh, and ran towards the building. I recorded six more minutes of footage until my phone was snatched by a state trooper. Uh, and I was arrested and handcuffed. More to come. Appreciate you. Again, this is Dave Stewart of Butler, Pennsylvania, Sniper's Nest video from his cell phone that was initially confiscated by the authorities. Absolute and total shocking revelations inside of this video. Most importantly, wow. is right here. The, the law enforcement had this sniper, had this assassin surrounded. As we've covered before, there was a sniper nest from the local SWAT team inside of the building. That nest was abandoned, and Thomas Crooks was able to crawl to the apex of the building and fire off shots on President Trump. This should have never been allowed to happen. Exactly. But here we are. How did it happen? Well, the dude was literally surrounded by law enforcement. You can see here the cops running around the building as he's clearing people out and he's running around the building. Dude, I'm telling you, this was a catastrophic, this was not a catastrophic failure. This is criminal negligence. Yep. Criminal negligence. They wanted President Trump took it out. People are dead. President Trump was shot in the head because of criminal negligence is what's happening here. Mm -hmm. um, people need to be held accountable. Obviously, we have the, you know, the sniper and security. This is the guy that the, yes, the they sent the, yes. This is the guy Sniper saw. So there's your Agent Smith. This was the Agent Smith that came up and confisc confiscated the phone. And then, you, of course, you can see here that this is where – this is the guy the sniper saw, right? So this, this was what was texted. But according to local law enforcement, they had no connection to the Secret Service, and the Secret Service skipped out on the briefings with them. Nobody from the Secret no. Service contacted us. I think that that was probably – a pivotal point where I started thinking things were wrong because something was wrong. That never happened, and we had no communication with the Secret Service. No communication with the Secret Service looks wow. like this, ladies and gentlemen. This is what it looks like when you have no communication with the Secret Service. Don't know what's going They're on. They're in control. All these officers are running around blind, pr protecting or securing a building so that the guy can take the shot. There was no drone. No, nobody was allowed to fly a drone. Nobody was up in the water tower. This stinks to high heavens. This stinks. All of the, all of the available. I, I just pray to God that President Trump is still here, man. Because I'm telling you, it could have been a lot of things that went wrong. Which it, you know, it did because we lost Corey, firefighter, 
and then uh, two other people were home, and Donald Trump shot in the head. I mean, I mean, all this could have been prevented. I mean, they had no communication with the Secret Service. They just running around the building, don't know what's going on. Ain't nobody on the little water tower. I, I mean, it was just messed up from the beginning. And the reason why Benny is saying the same thing, I'm saying that they wanted Donald Trump gone. They wanted him gone because if they knew it was a threat, they would have never allowed him to go out there on that stage. Why did they allow him to go out there on that stage? If they knew they were, shoot, they were looking for a person that has a gun and that's on top of that building, why didn't they you know, say, hey, get President Trump off the stage? All this could have been prevented. Necessities for security to keep Thomas Crooks from firing on President Trump, the obvious communications, somebody at the highest possible point, which is the water tower right there on your screen, somebody stationed on the rooftop, and then having the sniper nest not be evacuated. They, they, they took away the, the, the sniper nest. The guys in the sniper nest that had a direct shot at Thomas Crooks, they all abandoned their posts. Crazy. Why? Who gave the order? We still haven't found out who gave the order on that. We still waiting on that. And as soon as we hear from that, you hear that right there? Oh, I'm bringing y'all that. Did Kim Cheeto give that order? Because, you know, she didn't want to answer any questions. This, ladies and gentlemen, these are the real questions. And now you're seeing the results in the most crystal clear and full video that we've seen to date. Somebody needs to go to prison for the rest of their lives. Maybe a lot of people need to go to prison for the rest of their lives. Exactly. We must get to the bottom of this. Stay tuned to this channel uh, as we are doing uh, our Uyghur. Salute to Benny, man. Benny always doing a great job keeping us, you know, up to date with all the information and stuff that's going on. I appreciate all of you, especially the ones that made it to the end. Like I said, if I hear anything else, I will come back to y'all and let y'all know whether I upload a video or go live. I will let y'all know. And I will be streaming Donald Trump's rally this Wednesday. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you can come join me in the live stream. We're going to have fun. And uh, like I said before, we're going to get to the bottom of it and see what else happened, see who else is in on it, who else is lying. So I will bring y'all that. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.